was at this, we'll say it's, it was a federal building. I was filing official paperwork for something. Nice place, nice city. And then, and then someone took it upon themselves to take my tire off of the back of my Jeep. But on the bright side, I'm on my way to pick up a couch. And I don't know if you guys really understand my obsession with like interior design and furniture. I feel the same way about Z Gallery as I feel about shoes, you know, or burritos. So this is really making my day. I'm just that type of girl I'll buy a couch over groceries and that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to buy a couch and I have, I just ate my last yogurt in the refrigerator. I'm really excited about it. So let's go get this motherfucking couch. What's up you guys? Another morning in Adventures of Care. I dropped my key down the elevator shaft. So... Let's hope he can open it, and then we'll try to get a new key made. Until then, I'm just kind of stranded here on the sidewalk. Don't drop your keys down the elevator shaft, okay? It's not very fun. This is where I dropped my keys. <laughs> Look at two hours they tried to uh put it in neutral to tow it to the dealership that didn't work then i had to have a locksmith come out and now my alarm won't go off and the locksmith can't make it go off and um i don't even know why i'm vlogging this it's just like this is a normal day in the life for me <laughs> like literally stuff like this happens to me all the time guys so I woke up came out my car is gone I figured why not take you guys on this scavenger hunt to get my car back it happens a lot actually in LA this is like my third time that this happened to me it, it happened yesterday morning actually and yesterday was like just a really sad frustrating long day so today there's hope that I can get my car back so let's go try So I go in and I think, okay, this is all over. They're just going to give me the release. But no, of course, there's extra fines that I have to pay, which was what I was going to use to get my car to impound. So now I have to figure that out. But I'm literally, this is the same spot I was in yesterday. And I like had a little breakdown yesterday. I was crying, just sitting here crying to myself because that's when I first found out that I had to pay all this money to get my car out. Because long story short, I have like parking tickets that I didn't pay, pay your parking tickets. So now I'm here in the same spot, but I'm, I'm, I refuse to sit here and cry and feel sorry for myself. I put myself in this position and I'm gonna try to stay positive. So today when I sit here, I'm not gonna be in the same mindset that I was yesterday. I'm gonna move forward, I'm gonna be positive, I'm gonna get my car out, I'm gonna figure all of this out and everything is gonna be okay. So did everything I needed to do, got the car out, and now it won't move. And no one knows why, the whole, the stick shift, like the, not the stick shift, the little gear in the middle, it won't move. You put it in park, it goes in reverse. You put it in reverse, it sits still. Hmm. <laughs> and we're back in action because that's what bosses do. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I got really lucky. They So I was all freaking out when I saw that they had broken something in my car and it wasn't able to um, go and drive a reverse, but actually they ended up saving my ass because it was their fault. So they gave me, um, I got to get my car out of the tow yard. I did not have to pay the full amount that you normally pay to get your car out of the tow yard and they had to fix the piece. I try not to give certain situations too much negative energy so if it's worrying sadness anger i just try to step back look at the situation and 
and see is it really worth it and I swear you guys when you start doing that like 99% of the situations you're in really aren't so you know like shit still happens of course shit will always happen but when you have control over your thoughts over your emotions um it really does have a huge effect on the outcome of the situations that you get yourself into. Now that brings me to 2017 New Year's resolutions. I tried to upload a video talking about this. YouTube is acting crazy. I'm sorry. I like to break it down into all aspects of my being, physically, physical, uh, financial. I do my heart, love, uh, and I do spiritual. Uh, tell me in the comments below, out of all those categories, what things would you like to improve? So I just kind of put, I just literally go in my notes on my iPhone. I make a category for each one, and then I just put bullet points of what I want to accomplish, and then I give myself steps to what I need to do to accomplish those things. And I like to put dates next to them because that usually uh, makes me more motivated. And I did it last year, and I actually accomplished everything on my list last year in my phone. So this year, career-wise, I have this eyelash line that I'm starting, and I'm going to be doing accessories on there. So I have some goals for that, like where I want to see it this time next year. Uh, same thing with the me selling clothes, as I always do. I, I do it on Poshmark. I'm going to be putting more stuff on there, but I'm also um, turning that into a clothing line. So... I have goals with as far as that and that's kind of my career goals for this year just business um, and physically that's little things don't compare yourself to anyone else it's just what little thing can you improve for yourself physically that's gonna make you feel better about yourself because especially as women a little confidence just put some extra pep in our step that can literally be something as simple as changing your hair color so uh, for me this year, it's a little personal goal of mine to see how good I can get my body. Um, and my love life, I just I always kind of leave that up to chance. It'd be nice to maybe, I don't know, be a little boob this year. I don't know. If not, whatever. But love also has to do with your friendships and uh, your family relationships. So I always say, okay, I want to be a better sister. I want to be a better granddaughter in particular this year. I want to see my grandmother more, um, a better daughter, a better friend. Um, so just stuff like that. Spiritually, I, I just want to continue to grow. I feel like I'm on a path. I'm getting more mature. I'm getting so much better control over my thoughts and my actions. And I just have this whole different outlook on life. I don't know if it's the, the age um a realization for me right now but i just feel like i'm maturing so much i want to keep on that path i want to read more i have i put together a little reading list my goal is to get through my whole reading list so i'm just gonna do it at my own pace give myself the whole year uh why not but they're all really amazing books well, i hope that you guys had a wonderful safe new year's I love you guys. I appreciate all of you who watch my videos. I mean, especially those of you who make it to the end of my videos. Like, I just feel like it's a blessing and I want to really um, take advantage of this blessing this year and really see how far I can take it. Um, with, you know, YouTube, I just kind of got in it randomly, you know, from doing videos with my ex. And it's just crazy to me that I'm here now with my very own channel. And, it, and I'm still going strong. So I want to, like, you know, take advantage of it more this year and really just do more with it this year. Um, so those of you who have been rocking with me from the beginning or if this is the first video you're seeing, whatever, thank you so much for all of your support. And I'm just happy to be here. And I'm happy to have my car back. And uh, I love you guys. I will see you hopefully again this week because I should be posting more than once a week. We'll see. But uh, happy new year, you guys.